Well, let's focus on my hair. What's up, guys? Welcome to one more video. Blue Sheep Cast. My name is Pablo. <laughs> and my name is Manolo. <laughs> Right now it's summertime, there's parties going on all the time, and college is right around the corner. And with summer, college, and this stage in our lives that we're growing up, we are exposed to multiple opportunities and invites. And with all of these opportunities, we're gonna touch base on something that might be hard to hear. Should, Should Christians, Christians drink? drink? And without delay, let, let it roll! roll. Christians hear in our everyday life multiple times that drinking any type of alcohol or the use of it is wrong and sinful. So if you're one of those people, where in the Bible does it say that? The Bible actually mentions wine and alcoholic drinks a lot of times, to be exact, over 130 times in the Hebrew Bible. So when you're analyzing all those mentions of alcoholic drinks, specifically wine, and the Bible focuses more on the use of it than just condemning it. The Bible condemns uses that are improper. For example, getting drunk if you think about it anything that you use excessively is considered a sin eating too much is gluttony sleeping too much once it becomes that's all you want to do is a sin you're being lazy there's proper and improper uses of alcohol in the bible when the bible condemns alcohol it's normally when a person's getting drunk out of it because when a person gets drunk she tends to become someone that she's normally not we see two examples of that in the bible specifically in the book of genesis when noah and lot got drunk if you want to know what happened when they were drunk we suggest you go look that up on your own the Bible also shows that God doesn't condemn wine. For example, in Deuteronomy 14.26, he tells his people to enjoy wine on the yearly festivals and the holidays. In Exodus 29.40, God also told his priests to include wine in the sacrifices as drinking offerings. So what we can understand from this is that for everything, there's always a bad and a good use of it. It's all about the amount we drink because the sin comes with the excess. Because with everything in life, one thing we should learn is that we should all have limits. So if yourself, you're the ones that defend that any type of alcohol is bad, you shouldn't be a hypocrite and condemning somebody when they're drinking and without looking at your own flaws. You might have an issue that you eat a lot or like any of the examples that we said in the beginning, like Pablo said, everything in excess is wrong. Because Jesus himself, he wasn't against the drinking of wine. In the New Testament, you could see an example when Jesus was at a wedding in Canaan. We all know the story about turning water to wine, the miracle. And so when all those people were having fun at this wedding and the drinks ended, they went up to Jesus. And what Jesus did, he was like, yo, go get six water pots of stone and bring it to me. What Jesus did, he turned those six water pots of water and turned them into wine. It mentions on the Bible that each water pot was about 20 to 30 gallons of water. That's about 120 to 1. 180 gallons of wine. So we obviously can tell that Jesus did not have a problem with wine itself. Oh, so if the problem with me getting drunk, I could go and crack one open with the boys. Hold up. There's something else you gotta consider. Are you of legal age or not? If you're in a country that the rule is 18 and you're above 18, great. If you're in a country that the law is 21, you obey 21. Because the Bible also calls us to obey men's law. Because in Romans 13, 1, it says that there's no authority greater than God, but the authorities we have on this earth are appointed by God. And if we disobey those those authorities at the same time we are disobeying God himself because we as Christians we are ambassadors of Christ it doesn't matter the culture you're living in either if you're 18 or 21 or if your parents allow you to drink what matters is the law of the place you're living in. so next time you're invited to that party or to that club or going out with your friends keep what we said in mind and be truthful to yourself well guys that's all for today I hope you guys like this video if you like this video give us one thumbs up if you don't like this video give us two thumbs up don't forget to subscribe comment give us your ideas if you agree with us or not it doesn't matter you're free to put it down there don't forget to share this video if you agree share it with your social media show it to your friends and without delay see, see you next time, time. <laughs>